Hey guys, Shaggy here, right here, yeah, yeah, EG, you know, welcome to some more Black Ops 2 commentary, and today, we are, no, that's, that's kind of weird, I would hate to do some more commentary, would I, or should I do commentaries with that, with that godly voice, like, welcome to episode 5, and today, no, that's, that's, that's really, no, that's gay, no, why did I say gay, why did I say gay, you know, why, why would I say that, it's not even gay, what the fuck, man, what, what's wrong with you, huh? what's wrong with you, what is wrong with you, what is wrong with you, what is wrong with me, what's wrong with you, anyway, let's calm down, let's get right into this gameplay commentary, let's get right into the topic, but no, actually, before we get into the topic, let's let's introduce this gameplay quickly, this is a ground one nine nine kill confirmed on turban using a scorpion evo fast max suppressor with perks being lightweight, black jacket, scavenger toughness, and dexterity with non-lethals and no tacticals, as you can see by the score streaks, I'm using the UAV counter killer and the counter UAV, so it's a pretty weird score streak set up here, which usually people don't use, and it's something that I wanted to try it in random because as you can see the combination by the gun and the map itself is pretty unordinary because usually people wouldn't be using the scorpion either in such an open map like this because this gun is pretty useful for only pretty much a close court and uh, gunfights of course you can control it depending on how well your gun, sk gun skill is and how well you can control your sensitivity you can this gun is pretty good for long range as well so you know as you can see by the fast rate of uh, fire you need to be pretty careful of how you shoot at long range as well you need to control the bullets it's just like how you have to use the UMP45 at long range and Modern Warfare 2. Anyway, let's not get off topic here. Let's get right into the topic of this video. I want to talk about reverse boosting. A lot of lot of commentators, a lot of YouTube gameplay makers tend to do this to get gameplays, and I've come I'm completely personally against this because as myself, I don't reverse boost, and I'm a gameplay producer as well for this game. And I'm representing Call of Duty to keep it the way it is in a sense of who you go against and who you play with to get a gameplay, and that for me makes sense to the fullest of you know producing content that is from a game itself and not something that is not like how normal people would play because you know normal people what they do you know they go into a game and they try to play the game for its fullest and see what they can do to achieve the best score they can possibly get and the problem with reverse boosting is for those of you that don't know let me quickly explain what it is so you start a new account. By the way, all this is information that I've received from other people and friends that I know. So basically what people do uh, they start a new account, obviously it's going to have zero stats, and what they do, they go into about 20 games straight and they start killing themselves with a C4 and whatnot. So obviously, you guys know, you guys get it right, so they're going to get completely shitty stats. Now, because obviously Treyarch, for the first time ever, for some reason, they implement this system called skill-based matchmaking, right? This is only based on Black Ops 2. This has been never done in any other Call of Duty before. So obviously, this system is now abused by a lot of people in the YouTube community of producing gameplays in itself. And to uh, what they do is... Uh, they obviously, then once they lower the stats, they, they go to a game and they obviously, you guess, pretty self-explanatory. They're going to end up with players with similar stats to the person that's killed himself tons of times to get shitty stats. And therefore, what the matchmaking system does is that they, they all think, the, the matchmaking system would think that this player with shitty stats is going to be pretty bad. So it ends up putting them in a player with, with, shitty, with shitty stats as well. So they're going to be pretty bad players. But however, this player itself with really, really bad stats actually is pretty good when it comes to gun skill and amount knowledge of the game. So he's going to pretty easily get a gameplay against shitty players. And one of the things that I've noticed from these insane 200 plus gameplays and 150 plus gameplays on YouTube is that the actual players and the other team don't seem to rage quit. You know, that's the one funny thing that I've noticed. They people seem to love to die and just keep dying, man. How come I never get this? Oh, yeah. You know why? Because I don't reverse boost. And most, most normal players end up in normal lobbies tend to see rage quitters a lot and that's just the way call of duty works but not in reverse boosting lobbies no 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 in reverse boosting lobbies people don't rage quit. people love to die man they love to spam that re respawn button a lot all they know is how to reload and shoot walls man that's how it is you know i'm you know something that really gets to me and it's something that I wanted to, I sort of, this, this topic is really really mixed opinion, opinionated in a sense because you know most people some people think that it's okay to reverse boost. I, I can understand why, because for those that are, don't produce gameplays, who just come back from work and want to just chill and relax and want to play against players who don't know how to play, fair enough. You know, you're not hurting anyone and you're just having a great night coming back from work and you want, just want to relax. Okay, so you can do that. Fair enough, you know. But for those that produce gameplay content with insane scores who put me off because... People think that this is what they do to day-to-day -day basis, you know, playing in proper lobbies, you know, really, really, apparently really, really good gun skill against players who don't even know how to shoot. Wait, that's funny. But anyway, you know, at the same time, uh, claiming that these players are good. But realistically speaking, this takes little or no skill whatsoever because, I mean, who can't shoot players who don't know how to shoot back, you know? So anyway, with that being said, 
people that claim you know, the thing that gets to me the most when commentators claim that they don't reverse poop but they actually do and they state to their they sort of respond back to the subscribers stating their stats and whatnot no don't be fooled because what then what they do these are the sort of people that actually get friends to get shitty stats to make accounts with shitty stats and what they do they make them host the lobby so what these guys what these youtube commentators with 4kd would do is join those friends uh, into their lobbies with shitty players that they get matched up with because of their shitty stats and they obviously get to keep their 4kd and 3kd they end up being in a shitty lobby against shitty players and play with shitty players and therefore getting youtube gameplays and lying to their subscribers that they don't reverse boost now i want to know your opinion on this on the comment section below sorry in the comment section below of what you think if this is a fair thing because this is obviously if you notice man it's kind of obvious now there's like little these pub stomping clans i put in quotes because it's quite of hilarious to see how competitive this is in the youtube scene of pub stomping in a sense because what is the accomplishment of killing players who don't ever know how to kill this is the only but this is kind of embarrassing for the call of duty game itself because to think that how far call of duty has come and how much of a shithole it's becoming to to the people that watch gameplay content for me personally it's kind of embarrassing to see to see people post gameplays with crazy crazy scoring gameplays and I don't know, man, like, for me, if I, if I were to ever get a 200 plus game on this, I wouldn't be satisfied with it because I know if I ever get a 200 plus game, it's gonna go, it's gonna be against shitty players, man. If you ever get a 200 plus gameplay with proper master prestige players with real gun skill, then let me know because that's probably not, never ever going to happen. And do you know why? Because those players would probably have, would have rage quit by the time you had, would have probably got your 100 kill marker or 50 kill marker, whatever marker, where, if people with real brains would know, you know, a point where they're getting demolished, they would probably rage quit. And that's just the real world of Call of Duty and not the whole, the, the uh, unrealistic world of uh, reverse boosters. Anyway, that's just my thought, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm completely against this, but I don't mind for the people that want to reverse boost just to come back from work and, you know, just want to play and play against easy players. Then fair enough, you do it. But, you know, you're not hurting anybody because this is definitely not hurting anyone. But for the for the viewers out there in a YouTube commentator's perspective, for me, that is really puts me off when I'm going for gameplays because now, nowadays there's certain standards of gameplays that people require for them to judge on certain people to claim if they are good or if they are, you know, dissatisfied with the content. I don't know, man. It's, it's just really got to me lately. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this game here. 39 kills, 3 death, 41 captures. And uh, I'll see you guys soon. Check it out. Good night. Peace. Yeah.